Hi guys, it's Barry, and uh, every so often we're asked <clears throat> by the good folks that might want to consider uh, expatriating to this part of the world, you know, what would groceries and shopping and variety be all about? And we're here with uh, two different couples now. Uh, one is a repeat visitor, one is their first time, and we're leaving Cabrera. We're going to go through the mountains to Santiago, to where most of the expats tend to shop, uh, including us. We tend to go about once every two months and stock up on things. And I'm going to sneak in a camera and do some videos inside various supermarkets and things like that. A little bit of footage all through the mountains because it is an actual, it's actually a beautiful drive. We're going to stop and have a coffee or a sandwich along the way, much the same pattern as we do. So I'm going to be cutting off camera. I just wanted to do an introduction here. And uh, we're going to see if we can't find a box of vittles or two, okay? So we'll catch up to you a little bit later. Hi, guys. We're um, back with you now. We're off the main highway, taking the turn off. We're going to start heading up the mountain roads. I'm here with a couple of good folks, and we always respect privacy. But you'll probably hear them in the background, too, enjoying and maybe asking a question or two. We're just going through a little town, La Brazos. We're going to be going through several little towns going up the mountains. We're going to start our incline now, and uh, we'll cut in and out here and there. I'll stop, take a few pictures with Larry, our tech guy. I'll splice into the video. Uh, I'll be sneaking a camera in, like I said, into some of the grocery stores off of my iPhone, and we'll adapt it to this video. To give you an idea, I'll mount it on a carriage and I'll walk up and down a couple of the aisles to give you guys a better idea. But the, I guess the main point I want to get across to you is uh, your selection of groceries in this country will exceed what is available in America. Because everything that is available in America is available in these huge stores. But so is about 85% of what's available throughout Europe. So then you start going into French creams, French dairies, you start going into Lithuanian cheese, uh, German sausages, uh, literally from Germany, real Italian pepperonis, all kinds of spiced meats, mixed meats, but remember one thing uh, might be encouraging for you to know if you're diet conscious, uh, Europe is not very GMO friendly, and uh, they're certainly not corn syrup friendly, and um, that might be uh, or behoove you to understand that. So I'm going to continue up the mountain a little bit. Hey guys, uh, Joe and Annette were just asking about how high we're going to go, and that's a good valid point. Um, while I'm driving through, you can see with panoramic view of what we're doing. We're going to hit about 4,500 feet above sea level. Uh, just a little footnote, the tallest mountain is Pico Duarte in Costanza, which we're not going there today, but it's a little over 10,300 feet above sea level. The puddles do freeze in the winter and uh, all kinds of what, what gives us a variety of food is the different altitudes because fruits and vegetables need certain temperate climates to to flourish in and that's the real secret to why there's such a variety all throughout the country and uh, anyway I'm with Joe and Annette a couple of clowns here having some fun and um, I think for their first trip out here I think they're kind of surprised at how uh, how it is in this country from compared to what a lot of websites say and uh, We'll keep on informed when we get something a little more interesting We're also going to pass my wife's favorite part and I'll take some still pictures called the Chinese gardens And it's absolutely gorgeous. So we'll we'll be with you again soon a little further on down the road during the trip you're going to go through so many um, small little farming communities uh, they have their own stores and this and that. We're going over a sleeping police. Uh, every time you see that, there's a cop shop. So we're right by the cops right there to our left. And uh, they're peaceful little towns. I would say, I would say, I, I have no fact to, to prove it, no documented fact, but I would say close to 90% of this population uh, gets their, their revenues from bartering and from farming from selling uh, fruits, vegetables, meat, chicken, poultry, 
Um, I would say the percentage would be that high from here all the way through to Santa, uh, Santiago. And um, just to give you an idea of one of the pleasant little towns you go through. And these folks are simple, they're calm, they're like uh, teaching Joe this word, tranquilo. They're, they're just very tranquil, you know, you'll see the kind of the dogs sit where they want to sit. and They're just happy-go-lucky because nobody's really going hungry here and I think that's the biggest part about it. Beautiful little purple houses or pink houses and I think these guys could uh, just start to see from the perimeter windows that they might be in store for a view or two down the road. Just going over another one of the rivers for now. This is Barry and we'll catch you soon. Look how see how clear that water, water was. Water was. Oh my God. This makes you want to get out and jump in it. I was going to say something. That's a mobile, one of the mobile Kmart type trucks in front of us, isn't it? That's how a lot of these people get their supplies and stuff. We're starting to make our initial ascent now, so the road's going to become very, very, very windy. And it's not a road that you're going to go fast on. It was paved a couple of years ago. Uh, when we first got here, um, many of the potholes were the size of Volkswagens upside down, hollowed out. And you needed a four-wheel drive to make it through here. So considering I'm in a little uh, Ultima right now and having no problem, it kind of gives you the idea how the infrastructure has changed over the last 15 years. This was uh, not passable without a four-wheel drive. Uh, when we first uh, came, when I did. Uh, Leanne did not come here uh, in my initial stages of investigating this country, but uh, this is about two and a half years old, this pavement. It's relatively good, and uh, we'll cut in and out, and we'll be splicing in some nice scenes for you. Here's another Kmart on wheels, because that's how most of these people do get a lot of their staple or home goods and mops, brooms, buckets and all that kind of good stuff so that comes to your door hope you're enjoying the little country road and we're going to cut it off again and pick up with you soon yeah some of the things i'm picking up joe a um, case of toilet paper uh, a big a large jug of dishwashing soap because we put it in smaller jugs it's about 40 percent less um, maybe a big bag of dog food and all things like that. Um, nothing much. It's just Leanne asked us since we're out here to maybe pick up a couple of things. Uh, you might notice the air temperature starting to drop a little bit already. It feels wonderful. And uh, maybe up a little further I'll pull over and do a panoramic scene and take a couple of steels to put into the video. But it is a it's a very pleasurable ride. It's not a stressful ride when you know you have the whole day to do it and you stop for lunch or a glass of wine with your wife. It's it's a, a very pleasurable drive. After people are used to it, you, you tend to even look forward to doing it because you tend to go with other groups and other cars. And uh, tends, you know, with the people you tend to buddy up with. And it's uh, all the school children still using uniforms here. And it, it really is a beautiful day. But this is a lot more like uh, real DR, folks. What you see is what you get. It's not this. You're not going to find tourists out back here. And um, I'm glad these guys are with me. It gives them a, a sense of understanding what they'll be getting used to should they decide to come here. Our next stop, I'm going to do a panoramic shoot. We'll catch up with you there.